Hey, it's Karen from RFO Acrylics. Failing miserably tonight. Uh, I haven't been filming because I was kind of quiet and didn't feel like chatting. So uh, I'm just going to do my thing. <sighs> Flip cups with the Shelly Pouring Medium. Tough go, man. They're just hard. Super, super hard. Mixing up a giant cup here of... Uh, Oh, what is this? Mars Black and the Australian Floetrol tonight. Broke down and bought a bottle. It's, uh, this stuff right here. This is a 14 by 18 canvas that I have now scraped twice. Base of Glidden uh, Essentials white house paint and semi-gloss on the canvas. Pouring medium recipe for the colors is the Glidden Premier Semi-Gloss Base 3 in uh, white. Um, colors are Flick Studio Acrylic uh, Bright Aqua Green. Um, some Utrecht Fluid acrylics in yellow green light. Some Amsterdam in my one of my all-time favorite shades, the greenish blue. That's it. I'm going to uh, dirty pour my colors into a cup, maybe a single cup, and uh, throw it on this canvas. For the last two attempts, I had the um, CA on the bottom and then layered my colors and then flipped it, lifted. Uh, wasn't happy with the results. So I'm gonna try to dirty pour it in. So I'm gonna layer some colors. I'm going to go and just mix it up. I hope that's not too thick. We'll find out. better reaction, much better reaction with the dirty pour.
little second cup. I feel like my black is too thick. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. So I have a feeling I'll be throwing the third cup on there. Mmm, it's still too thick.
me stare. I'm staring. This is my squeeze bottle of house paint. happy with all this. I really like these little white cut-ins. I think they're visually interesting. Oh, I forgot about this particular one isn't very good for Doesn't need the bar from Karen. away. I'll get you later. Am I happy with this now? Am I actually happy with one? Make this one right here bend a little bit. Just a little.
much white right there. Uh, the rest of it doesn't want to move though, so I'll worry about that little corner of white later. Ta-da! Let me um, stare. I'm thinking that's the top, so let me look at it that way. Let's see one one last thing I want to do. Look stupid. Oh, that looks stupid, Karen. Watch me dirty this whole thing up. <laughs> oh, yep. What about you? Can I take some of you off? Good. Get off. I'm sorry, y'all. You got grumpy, Karen. There we go. All right, fixed. Stop fussing with it. Let me get you guys down. Super pretty. Pretty dang happy. Well, first let me say hi. <laughs> hi. How are you? Having a good night? This art form just makes or breaks your mood, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not feeling well, so I'm kind of grumpy. I didn't feel like talking. I wasn't going to film. But I know it's been almost a week since I got a video up, so I'm like, all right. Um, yeah, as I was saying, the uh, the Shelly Art Pouring Medium and Flip Cups, they're, they're hard. Um, I think they're really hard. Um, Let's do everything reverse. Say hello, do show and tell, and then I'll get you down. It's only 21 minutes in, so I feel like I have five minutes or something. Um, so last video, 
we did the Shelly Yard um, Dutch Pour mashup using the Shelly Yard pouring medium with the Dutch Pour technique. And we made a little clock, which is this guy right here. Wait, how do I like it? I think I like it like this. Um, turned out great, lots of cool cells and lacing everywhere. See how it looks uh, blurry right here? That's the uh, metallic colors that bled into that black. I'm gonna touch that up and make it matte, you know, for uniformity's sake, like it is over here. So it's like that all the way across. Um, it's already sold, so yay. It really, I'm having a hard time getting the shimmer, but it's, there you go. Very, very shimmery. So there was that one. And then it was funny is off camera, um, I decided that the little bloom I had done first was uh, I had stretched it out too much, and then I read the comments, and someone said, you stretched it out too much, and I was like, yeah, and I had redone it, so, you know, great minds, whoever you are, so there's the uh, new improved little round, and I wanted to um, show you guys this one in particular, because I was talking um, about the need to um, prep your unfinished wood, and what happens if you don't, this one, if I can hold it, the right way, like right up here, you see those lines? That's the wood. Now, I, this was not prepped. So normally what I would do is take some, see there's the lines right there, you can kind of see them. I would gesso it, sand it, put another coat of gesso, lightly sand it, and then pour. And then when you do that, and because resin won't hide those, it'll still show up under the resin, but when you have one that's prepped, like this guy, this is my little blue crab. Isn't it like a little blue crab? I love this one. Uh, there's there's no lines at all. And that's the beauty of just so. Really good for your unfinished wood. Or uh, if you like the lines, sometimes the lines enhance the pour. Then, you know, ignore everything I just said. And, and then finally, from that last video... I did one with leftover paint, which this guy who's super blingy, has not been resined yet. Again, you can see the wood grain, but the wood grain on this one is very, very uniform, so it doesn't bother me. Um, very pretty. And then two videos ago, we did the factorial pour um, using four colors in a bunch of different orders. Um, I can't show you the clock, the very last one, because it sold like nearly immediately and it's gone. But I do have both sides of the box, which look like this. So these were two different orders. Um, both came out great. They both complement each other well enough that when I, you know, put it back together, it'll be a cute little bloom box. That's what I call them now. <laughs> so silly. It's my bloom box, like a boom box. So yeah, so it'll look something like this and be up on Etsy, hopefully soon. And then finally, the last one, um, yet again, a different order, the box, and it came out, whatever order it was, I'd have to go back and look at the video, much, much brighter, happier, lots of the reds and golds. And this one with the gold, like a uh, rose gold background, very pretty. This is up in Etsy. Let me pop this off. Anything else? I was gonna tell you a story about my uh, anniversary, but oh well, next time. Uh, I have an incredibly sore throat too, and my daughter has a bad cold, so I'm a little worried that I'm catching it. But let me get you down. Sorry for the hand. So, phew, labor of love for that guy. Really quite happy with it. Let me get you close on the colors and the lacing and the cells. Super, super great. So, again, every time I do one, it's like it takes me three tries to get something I like every single time, which, you know, that adds up paint wise pretty quick. So, don't want to make that a habit. But yeah, that's really cool too with the with the green background. 
And I love these little cells right here. And I love the black right there too. So up high, trying to hold it still. Anyway, I'm under 30 minutes. That's what she looks like. Uh, thanks as usual for the love and support. Um, I hope you enjoy the videos. Please like and subscribe. Uh, YouTube Analytics tells me that it's half and half. 50% of you are subscribers, 50% are not. So please consider hitting that button. Um, and I hope you're inspired by the art. Uh, which reminds me, um, be inspired, but be your own artist. Go forth, make great things. That's it. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.